Alright, welcome back to another military aircraft update. And this one is kind of small, I only have five aircraft for you. Mostly because I've been kind of busy, I've been on vacation, haven't really been in the mood to play Minecraft too much lately. Kind of like, I'm kind of like, have like one of those little builder's blocks, or dirt blocks as the king likes to call it. But, nonetheless, let's start with some airplanes. So first of all, we have the ME-410, which is a German heavy fighter. And it uh, pretty much... That's all it is, a uh, heavy fighter. Actually, I think it turned out pretty cool. I just like the way it looks in the front. kind of just has that flat slant to it. It's really cool. And then uh, someone else came along and added the big 50mm uh, cannon that goes in the nose. That thing is crazy. Except it only fires one shot every few seconds, so you have to be very precise with it. And we have two heavy bombers to show. So first of all, we have the Fokker Wolf 200, which is, I believe, it never really entered service. I'm... Don't quote me on that, but I know that it didn't really see much combat at all. But I believe they still built a few. Yeah, but it's a pretty cool bomber. They're going to add it to War Thunder eventually. And maybe then Germans will have a good bomber. Who knows? Because all it is is the HE-111 as their major bomber. And that's how it was during the war. All they had was mostly the HE-111. And speaking of that, I know a lot of you have been saying for me to build the HE-111. And the only problem is... In two times scale, the only way it would work is to have it four wide, and unfortunately, I can't do a tail in four wide, so that's why that can't be built. Next, we have the B-24, which I know a lot of you are saying, where's the B-17? Well, kind of like the same problem as the HE-111, except now I've realized that I can get away with it being as wide as the B-24 right here. Major problem is there's just so much going on in a tight space on the 17, mostly in the front section, because you know how the cockpit kind of bumps up in like a little hunchback kind of thing in the, on the top. It's kind of hard to get all that. I've done like three attempts at the B-17 so far, and I haven't really been successful. However, I finally managed to get the B-24 under wraps, and actually I'm getting pretty close to getting my own B-24 in War Thunder. I just got the uh, 17G yesterday. But yeah, I'm also happy with how this one turned out. And that is all for the little, or all the bombers. And we have one more fighter aircraft, which I'm sure a lot of you will like, because a few of you have been requesting it. And then also we have an experimental aircraft, which I threw in with the fighters, even though it's really not a fighter, it was just there for experimenting. And of course the chunks are being weird today. I know that, I believe that's the command, or not. There we go. Alright, now it should help a load. I had to remember the chunk loading command, because I know one of you told me in the comments, and I forgot about it, and then now I just realized, oh, I can use that. So here we have, right here, I'm sure a lot of you recognize this aircraft, this is the F-4 Phantom, which a lot of you have been requesting, and actually, when I was first starting it, I wasn't really liking how it turned out, because I started with the nose and worked my way back. I wasn't really liking how it was looking, but once I got the wings on and everything, it really turned out really nice. And I'm impressed by how good it looks. But yeah has the engines and everything. It's actually a huge fighter. I didn't realize that when I was building it. I'm like, is it really this big? But uh, I've seen one in person, and yeah, they're pretty big. And then right here, this isn't a fighter aircraft, but this is the X-3, one of the X-planes. If you ever heard of the X-planes, you probably heard of like the X-1 or the X-2, the little orange things that broke the sound barrier and stuff like that. These are mostly just for experimenting at high speeds, learning how aircrafts undergo at high speeds. But yeah, that is all for the update, and I realized I've had F3 open the whole time. Oh, well. <laughs> but yeah, that's all. Um, I know that probably you, a few of you are going to be asking, what's going on with the uh, aircraft here? Well, there's nothing changed, because I haven't been playing Minecraft too much lately. Kind of like, like I said, I have that kind of dirt block right now. And I've also been thinking about making an aircraft museum, but I'm really not sure. Like, I built the structure, but now I just got to get myself to working on it, and figuring out what planes to put where, because I have a ton of planes I can put in a museum. More than enough to fit in the space within it. But yeah, we'll see how that turns out. I'd like to thank you all for watching. My name is Chris, also known as Wolfmind, and I'll see you guys later.